G'day Argy Bargy Crew, hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, that is an old Greyhound bus and I thought you might be interested to check out Greyhound bus and find a way to pick up and drop off passengers in American Truck Simulator. Now, I actually mentioned this in my last live stream that I was l testing out an old <coughs> mod that I tried a long time ago and it was a little bit buggy and therefore I gave it away. But I've since found the same mod again. I think it was now or is now done by some another developer, not, not the same developer and it allows you to pick up and drop off passengers. And while I was doing that, I found this Greyhound bus, and I thought it would be great to have the old Greyhound bus in the American Truck Simulator, because most buses that you find are European buses, and it doesn't really suit the uh, American theme. But as you can see, being that this is an old Greyhound bus, um, it definitely does. The only thing that I think is different is it's twin steer, and I don't think any of the Greyhound buses were twin steer. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody else knows, please let me know. But uh, I don't think they were. The colours and the paint scheme is pretty well spot on. Uh, so that part of it's good. But like I say, I don't think they were twin steer. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this and see what you get. You get all different paint jobs. I'm not going to change. Well, I'll show you a couple. Of course, they're all um, European paint jobs, except for the Greyhound. Uh, then you get different um, levels of suspension. You get the lowered and the height adjusted one, which I've gone for because a lot of the jobs that you do are in or on dirt tracks or whatever, because... The passengers that you pick up aren't ordinary um, suburban passengers. These passengers are employees of mining companies and that, that you're bussing in and out of uh, different areas, etc. So therefore, yes, you do go on a lot of dirt tracks. There are quite a few different engines to choose from in this mod. I'm not sure what this one is. I'd say it'd probably be about a 720 horsepower or something. Just that I haven't reached that level on this profile. Uh, your gearboxes, you've got your 6, 8, and 12. Your traditional gearbox for the Greyhound was a 6 speed Spicer, I think it was, uh, 4 plus 2. And dash wise, you just get the single dash, the one. G'day, Tigs, how you going? Always take Tigs with me as much as I can. Paint jobs again, get a ton. And you get a few uh, things that you can do with the, as far as accessories and whatnot goes. I've left it basically stock except for the rims. I've put the uh, standard rims or paint rims on it so I could paint them in the traditional greyhound colours. And you get a few other things that you can do. You get an antenna you can put on the back, etc. I've left it fairly stock standard for the purposes of this um, video. And then interior-wise, like I say, there's not much you can do in here. Oh, actually, that's one thing I forgot. You can put a CB radio in here. One that hangs up there or one down on the, just under the dash, which I think will go with that one. Confirm order. Now, what I'll do is, before we go and take a job or anything, is I'll hop out here and I'll show you the mods that you're going to need. I'll also leave a link in the description so you can uh, check the mods out for yourself and download them if you want and do this as well and i will say before actually I'll, I'll wait until we get out there so let's go into the mod manager mod manager and i'll show you the mods okay so the mods you're going to need are this one here mod de passageros by christian and I'll leave a link to that in the description. It tells you all about it on here. And also you'll need this one, Sultana Panoramico. I think that's how you say it. 
Sultana Panoramico, which is the uh, mod for the Greyhound bus. And it comes in two parts with the, the skin pack, which you'll need to paint it the skin colour or the, the theme for the uh, Greyhound. So these are the, it's a two part mod, which you'll get when you download the zip file. So again, uh, this one here and these two is uh, what you'll need. I'll leave links to them down in the description. The way I've loaded it, I've got it on one of my vanilla um, test profiles. I've just basically put it above the truck and skin, and it seems to work that way, albeit with a few, few little niggly things, which I'll show you once we get in there. So with this um, mod, with the passengers to pick them up, that's one thing you'll notice. Like I said, you won't be picking them up from bus stations or bus depots. It doesn't work that way. You pick them up from companies and depots and companies, etc., mining, uh, logging companies, Walmart, or whatever it's called, all different places except for bus depots because for some reason they can't. It doesn't work in depots. Uh, and I can understand why that is because the standard SES uh, pick up and drop offs are in companies, so they've just used those. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that this will work with any other bus uh, mods that you've got, as far as I know. Uh, but I've gone with this because, again, like I'll say, because it's ATS, I wanted to stick with the American theme, and Greyhound's a great way to go. Uh, then, when you go into the jobs, and uh, this is one of the reasons I, I I like this mod over what I tried last time. Last time you had to hook up a trailer to it and the trailer was invisible and there was all sorts of problems with that trailer because it was invisible. When you're driving along, uh, people would run into the back of the, the bus. Uh, don't ask me why, but th they did. And you'd stop at a set of lights and they'd run into you. They don't do it with this bus. It with this mod but I did try it with another uh, bus and they were running into the back of me but with this bus they don't well so far they don't one of the things you'll notice when you go into the freight market is that it looks like there's nothing there that just little marks but that is your passenger pickups here don't go for these pickups because if you do it won't work you have to go for your passengers so you've got employees you've got the CEOs uh, you've got supervisors, uh, employees again, supervisors, CEOs. You get the idea. Any of these you can use as your jobs. You can pick them up. So anyway, let's get a job. And I'll show you how it works. Because I know you're all hanging out to check that out. All right, we'll take this one. And like I say, I'll show you how it works. And I'll show you the, the, the bus. And I'll tell you the... The things that I don't like about this mod. I love this mod and I love this bus. Uh, the engine sound, uh, the way it drives, everything like that is great. But there are a couple of things that I still don't like about this mod. And it always seems to be with anything to do with buses in either ATS or ETS2, there's always a couple of bugs that are problems. Now, the number one bug that you probably see already, if you look at that wind windscreen, and have a look at those two trucks that are parked there. Let's jump out and I'll show you. They're hover trucks. <laughs> the new electric truck hover truck. They don't have any rims or tyres on them. And yeah, that happens with this mod, unfortunately. And I'm still trying to work out a way to stop that from happening. As long as you put up with that then you'll be fine. So that's number one problem with it. But it doesn't cause any problems with the actual... Oops, put it in first. And turn the lights on. Doesn't cause any problems with the game except for visually. So, yeah, we'll go and... Turn right. Pick up some passengers and I'll show you how it works. Like I say, this is a 6-speed that I've got in this. You can put a 12-speed. Right. 
sound like I say I love the sound of the <coughs> engine the engine sounds I love the way the bus actually handles it handles like a true bus I have driven a bus before not as a living or anything I just because I used to work on diesels and diesel engines and whatnot and buses we'd work on them so I've you know I've driven a couple of buses not for any extended period of time if you know what I mean right and then turn right Turn right. Hmm. Maybe problems with the gears when I wasn't before. Probably because I'm, yeah, what they call Murphy's Law. Turn I'm trying right. to show you and prove to you that everything's okay and then things start going wrong. But it's probably just me. Alright, so we're going to pick up our passengers. Right. Now that's one thing you'll notice is you have to pull forward a fair bit more than what you would normally to trigger the pickup. But again, that's not a problem. So here we are, we're going to pick up some employees and we're going to take them to Idaho, Idaho Falls. Now where are they? They're just down here. Probably just over to the side here behind this trailer. The Waldens, yes, there they are. Now this is the other thing that or the other bug that happens with this mod now what we'll do let's do this so you reverse him just like you would normally but if it's up against the wall like this one the pickup you won't be able to go far enough back because you basically have to go through the wall to pick the trailer up now I'll show you what I mean you can see that that pickup um, outline is disappearing into the wall now see I've hit the wall and I'll pop out and show you see how I'm not in the area and if you don't have a wall behind you that's not a problem you can reverse back far enough and you can pick the passengers up by just clicking the button and away you go but what I do is I just move forward like so and this is a neat little thing what you do let's go inside and I'll show you okay so press your window open your passenger window but it opens your passenger door let's hop out so you can have a look at it and it also opens the luggage compartments so that the passengers can put their luggage in etc now what I do here is I press zero on the keyboard and then I think it's F9 I've got it set up differently but it's just by using the console the in-game console and you pick up the passengers so now if we go back inside the bus you can see the passengers are in there we'll go back outside and now we close everything up make sure everything's closed and now hopefully I pulled forward far enough that uh, the trail is not stuck in the wall no, it's not excellent so now as you can see we've got the job we've picked up the passengers and now we'll go and drop them off what I'll do is I will take you part of the way on the journey so you can see how the bus handles and then I will skip most of it because it's a five hour trip and once I get to the destination show you how you drop them off so let's go for a bit of a drive in this with me so you can see how the bus handles
but yeah, it um, handles quite well. Um, like I say, you've got a choice of 6, 8 and 12 speed. I've gone for the 6 to try and keep it more original. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's what they came out with. You might uh, get a little bit seasick with this because uh, it's not like the trucks in ATS. Uh, it's like a true bus. It's got very soft suspension to uh, provide comfort to the passengers. And what I'll do is I'll jump out so you can see what I mean. You'll notice it's bouncing around at the, oops, on the front there. I'll try and show you how it bounces around. This road's pretty flat, but you get the idea. It's pretty bouncy. It's <laughs> the best way to describe it. But like I say, it drives like a dream. If you're into buses, and I know one of my viewers in particular loves buses, and I told him he was mad because I hate buses in ATS and ETS because I kept getting in the way, and they, um, cause all sorts of problem in the gap. Ooh, a bit of uh, a glimpse there, a bit of flicker. Spot lag spike or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, but I know there's, like I say, there's one view, I've forgotten his name offhand, that loves buses, he'll love this. Because he said he lo loves getting in the driving buses around. Oh, I know what's going on. Hang on for a tick, people. Yeah, sorry about that. I was uh, downloading stuff in the background. That's why it got laggy. I keep forgetting that I'm doing that. And, uh, yeah, it causes all sorts of problems. No, it's still lagging a bit. Oh, well. That, that's something I've noticed since the last Windows update. This game started lagging again. And I've had people confirm the same thing. That... Um, they're getting the same problem since the last Windows update that uh, the game started lagging once you know they'd already got it to the point where it wasn't lagging anymore and then Windows did an update and it started lagging again so it's possible it's something to do with Windows oh look hover truck <laughs> uh, yeah like I say if you could put up with that <laughs> and just ignore it you'll be fine but so like I say the main problem with this was that how you have to pick up sometimes when the uh, pickup is too close to a wall uh, the other problem is the hover truck so that's about it I don't think there's any other problems with this I'm pretty sure that um, everything else in this mod is is fine and like I say the bus looks the part comes with passengers and everything whoops am I supposed to go this way yes oh <laughs> uh, sorry about that folks I was um <laughs> too busy <laughs> watching the other things instead of watching the raid <laughs> uh, poor bus cop it <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, gee, now it's lagging like crazy. I don't understand it. When I was testing this out, I didn't get any... I got a couple of little spikes here and there. Lag spikes. And now I'm starting to get them everywhere. I don't understand it. It's always when I'm trying to video... And I know what people are going to say is because I'm videoing, but no. 
what I do is I actually videotape off of my laptop so it's not putting any uh, stress on the performance of my main computer so it's got absolutely nothing to do with the uh, videoing of the game recording because there's no uh, like I say it, there's no extra stress put on the performance of the main PC with recording because the recording's all done on my laptop but yeah again like I say really looks the part they've done a good job shout out to the developer of that of this particular bus mod done a great job there mate What I'll do is, uh, now that I've shown you this and how it uh, performs and everything, what it looks like, how it sounds, right. all that stuff, and then right. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you when I've uh, dropped it off. All right, so we're just about to do the drop off, and that way you get to see exactly how that all operates. And it was a fairly uneventful trip um, after my uh, brief excursion through the signs and off road there. I was actually hoping that um, we would do some off roading, like dirt tracks or whatever, so you could see how the uh, bus handles the off-road which it handles quite good but it does bounce up and down quite a bit so um, but unfortunately this is all been on highways and uh, suburban roads so or city roads and town roads so didn't get to show you sorry about that you have to take my word for it There's the hover trucks again. Wonder uh, where you can buy them from. <laughs> like I say, it's a bit annoying, but it is just visual, so it's not a big deal. Right. All right. So yes, dropping off is normally relatively easy so they suggest in the mod that you choose oops that you choose easy parking or automatic parking um i just hit the gate there but again i'm just doing this to show you i normally wouldn't be this um haphazard with my driving it's just that i'm trying to remember things and look at things and yeah that's my excuse anyway. So I'm choosing Let's Play It Safe uh, to make it easy and to show you the drop off. But you can also choose the, uh, sorry, I'm in a hurry and skip the, uh, the parking and still get paid for the job. But I'm going to go Let's Play It Safe because if you use this, sometimes you can't drop the load off or drop the passengers off. So either Play It Safe or I'm in a hurry. They're the ones you can choose and normally get. Uh, have no problems normally. Yep, dragging through the fence there, <laughs> causing a bit of damage. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just not do what you would normally. But then this again, you've got to remember that uh, the trail is behind this. So let's hop out so you can see. Oh, probably too far across now. Might work. But you've got to pull forward more. Ah, yeah. See that? 
So you, you're forward a little bit more than you normally would be. Although that's not too bad. But you can see the gap. That's because there's a small invisible trailer there that you can't see at the back. But yeah, so that's how you do it. And then what you do, if you were inside, you would simply, whoops, let me turn the head tracking off. You would simply open the doors up. And now we'll jump outside so you can see it. And then you would unload your passengers. It's that simple. Excellent. <laughs> Two hours and 18 minutes. Show results. Dun, 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 done. Um, whoops. So let's... I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? Doing well. And then when you're finished, you would just simply close the window, which closes all the luggage compartment and the door, and then you can drive off. So just remember there's a few little things that niggly things that you've got to put up with if you're going to use this mod but it's a lot better than it used to be because you used to have so many problems dropping off and picking up because uh, you had to find that invisible trailer and the other thing was if you'd have to, if you had to reverse the trailer because it was an invisible trailer if you're reversing if you can imagine you couldn't see where the, tra the trailer was so the trailer might be skewing left or right and it would cause damage and yeah it was a mess but now obviously what they've got is a solid trailer that follows the or a steerable trailer or something like that that's on the back of it so you don't have any problems with it but again so you need those three mods like I said which there are actually only two but one comes in two parts and that's the Greyhound bus or the bus and then the skins so you can skin it in the Greyhound or with whatever you want but I, like I say, I went with the Greyhound because uh, I wanted to stick with the American theme in American Truck Simulator. And, yeah, it just works. And, I mean, apart from those two little problems where if you uh, go to pick up and the pickup's partially in the wall, you have to use your um, console, in-game console, to pick it up. But if you know how to use that, then there's no problems. And the other thing is the hover trucks. And I think it's quite funny watching the hover trucks. Anyway, so hopefully I explained that reasonably well and you understood it. I sometimes um, get carried away trying to watch everything and make sure it's all perfect for you. And what happens is it ends up a complete mess. So I apologise if I made this a complete mess and you didn't follow along. But if you've got any questions, you can ask them down in the comments or go to the Discord channel. There'll be an invite link in the description and in one of the comments. So if you want to go over there and have a talk um, and discuss anything about this, you're more than welcome. So if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please subscribe if you haven't already because uh, it's free. You might as well. And hopefully if you did enjoy this, we'll catch you in the next one. So bye for now.